are you preparing for grad school soon and um, you hope to be funded for grad school so i just came across a fantastic resource that would help you identify schools or professors that have current funding in your areas of research interests and with this you can have an idea where current research is being done in your areas of interest and you can specifically target those schools now this particular resource is different from the ones i have talked about in the past in these videos so if you've not seen those videos check them out before you begin this one but this particular video will be important for those in STEM related fields and also it has a lot of resources for non-STEM students. So without wasting time, let's get right into it. So for this video, we are going to head to the DTIC website and DTIC stands for Defense Technical Information Center. I'm going to put the link to this website it should be on the screen or in the description to this video. So the DTIC, as you can imagine, really gives you all the resources that, as it relates to the Department of Defense, right? So there are various arms of the Department of Defense of the United States. So you have the army the navy the air force so there are some other uh, institutes uh, under this department of defense or as i will call them dod the dod funds a lot of research that could be in stem or in non-stem field so as long as it relates to promoting the goals of the united states promoting security so they have a lot of aims for the research that is funded by dod now if you get to this database it has a lot of resources it's kind of intuitive on its own but let me just walk you through it quickly so let's say you are interested in an area of research so you just type that into the search bar here now the more specific you can be the more you useful it's going to be for you i'm going to use something related to my field so let, let's say you're interested in studying inflammatory bowel disease so I, I was surprised when i found this too because um, i didn't expect initially that i would see the dod sponsoring research in this field so if we can find this it means you know there's uh, endless opportunities for for you to find professors in your field you can see here that there are a lot of um, studies that is funded by the dod and that relates to inflammatory bowel disease ibd as we call them so you can see them here so but what you can do right is to use the filters on the left side of your screen here so you can say start here what i typically like to do is to look at active years so we're in 2025 right now so you can limit your search to 2025 you can limit it to 2026 you can see there there will be some research that would extend to 2028 in the ibd the field sponsored by the DOD. Now over the coming years there will still be more research funded but at least as of right now you have 32 that are kind of active in 2025. So let's limit it to if you click that so you can see your search bar changes to active year 2025 so your filters will continue to appear in the search bar. Now you can see the first one says this research is funded up to the tune of um, 3.1 million dollars and it lasts till 2027 which is is amazing you know as, as a professor myself hopefully i can take advantage of some of these opportunities but it's just mind-blowing to see that the dod also sponsors um, a lot of research in my field so what you should do is to try your field as well but i want to show you some things before we go now you can see on the right side here there are all other filters so research categories you can see there are some specific categories if you are interested in biological sciences immunology microbiology you can click those ones as well and it will give you all the studies that are funded under for example immunology right so if you click that but we are not going to we are going to remove the immunology filter uh, i recommend you go specifically with your research interest and not just broadly you know that's just another option now let's click on any of this um, so if you click on some of this I'll show you something cool about this particular database that is different from the other ones I've talked about before by the way if, if you've not seen those other ones I've talked about the USDA the National Institute of Health the National Science Foundation so they all have a database like this that has a list of funded projects okay in several fields so you should check that out as well in conjunction with this particular database the cool thing 
thing about this is you know this is the title of the brand and um, you would see the investigator here and this person is uh, our neighbor emory university so dr otlung is a pi at emory university so you can put that on your list right of the potential schools or professors you are going to email for potential opportunities now if you read you can read the abstract of um, the study to see if this is really something you'll be interested in now the coolest part of this website which is absent in other databases that i've talked about before is this particular section similar grant awards so easily you would see other similar awards that have been awarded to professors to study this particular disease so inflammatory bowel disease so you can see that easily with just one search you can potentially see a lot of similar awards to that area of research interest and you can just you know click on these things and uh, these ones and read and see if you're interested and with that you can just create a list of um, professors and universities that you are going to try to apply to or investigate further and to see if there will be opportunities at those universities or with those professors so that's really what i want to show you with this website so i'm, I'm not going to talk much about this website like i said it's intuitive so please just uh, go to this link and you know for let, let, let's try one more thing for non-stem people because i said you know you non-stem projects can also be here so I, I don't know what i'm going to search but i know i found some non-stem related studies so let's try let's say someone that is studying doing like journalism related studies right so you can see here just um, type in social media in the search bar you can see that we have a lot of funding or, or studies in this area as well now if i filter to current year so if i say limits to current year so it's going to put that filter in the search bar like before and you can see the various grants that um, have been awarded to study things related to social media or cyber threats as you can see here so this is really cool so if you're a non-stem student you should try to you know do your search here to see if there will be something that relates to your research interest so you never know uh, like i said the same thing you would see similar grant awards in this section so these are a lot of people that are studying something related to social media or information campaigns you can also use the research categories on the right like i said earlier for example if you're in communication and media studies you can click that and um, you know it will give you a list of studies under communication and media studies so I, I would leave you to go through this website and just see what you get out of it if you found this very helpful please put it in the comments below let me know if it's helpful and um, don't forget to share it with um, other people that you know that are trying to go to grad school and apart from that check out those other resources those other databases that i've shared before as it relates to funding potential funding opportunities for grad students outside of that so when you create your list the whole idea behind this is to be able to narrow your search for the kind of schools you want to apply to then you create a list of professors and universities and you reach out to them for potential mentoring opportunities so if you if they are accept to be your mentor then you can apply to those universities without wasting money trying to see if you are going to be admitted or not now some universities will tell you that um, you know you have to apply with a pool of candidates but still it's still useful to know that at least your area of research interest is in this particular university with this particular professor so you can easily just try to compete for admission with other students now if you have a list of schools and you want to email we have resources on our website bestmanacademy.com so check that out you will find a lot of resources on how to email professors how to write your statement of purpose or personal uh, statements and every other thing that relates to grad school so check out our website bestmanacademy.com and you would see all those other resources so that's all i have for you in this video if you enjoyed it please subscribe to the channel and also like this video so that uh, we can continue to grow together i'm dr ojo and i'll see you in the next video